Good morning, it's Suzanne, and here's just a quick little message for you. And the message of the day they said to me is um, about forgiveness. And I'm not going to say a lot about it, but they are bringing things to my attention, such as forgive yourself for decisions you've made, forgive yourself from, uh, you know, for times where you've been not your best, where you have reacted from a, a mindset instead of a heart level. Um, sometimes we feel like when we react from our mind, from uh, we look at an issue and um, react to what comes to our mind immediately. Um, that's not that's not really a bad thing. Sometimes the ego does have its uh, good points, okay? And it, it makes us aware of different situations. It allows us to see both sides. It's when we make our final decision, it should come from the heart. But um, sometimes we react. Sometimes we are um, defensive. Sometimes we're over-emotional. Sometimes we're jealous. Sometimes we're angry. There's all these emotions that come from us when we think of the situation from our mind. And they are um, reminding us that we need to forgive ourselves when we go into that phase of who we are or into that um, part of who we are. It's not a bad thing. Everything, um, everything teaches us a lesson. Everything helps us grow and evolve as a human. Everything helps us learn on a spiritual level, um, you know, because we can, we can um, see how we react to a situation. And when we sit and think about it afterwards, it gives us that's when we have that moment of growth when we can sit back, we've removed ourselves from the situation, and we can see both sides of our own reaction, and how it might have played out better if we reacted this way, or, you know, you may have had a better outcome if you were a little, a uh, little stronger, or a little less um, angry, or whatever it is, okay. Um, that's, that's what they're saying, we need to work on forgiveness. And it's not always about forgiving other people. It's about forgiving ourselves for allowing ourselves to be human. Okay. Not always having to be that perfect, um, being because we never, we never will be right. So, um, let me just pull a card quickly. Let me pause it for one. Actually, I don't need to. And they're telling me number four. So let's just see. Let's shuffle it a little bit. I have a minute where nobody's in here. I just don't want anybody to burst through the door in the middle of my reading. Okay, so four, one, two, three. And this is the Council of Nine. These are the original hooded beings that showed up in a vision for me um, and uh, said that they were part of my collective. So this is who the message comes from today, my core, okay? Um, your heartfelt concern is being acknowledged and taken care of. Trust in your mission. So that can tie into um, that can tie into what I just said, uh, because they are acknowledging what we're going through. They are they do step back our team, our angels, our guides, our family members, our pets, everybody can see us on this side and um, acknowledge what we're going through. They can't interfere. They can shower us with light energy and uh, positivity and send their heartfelt energy to us. They can't interfere. Um, but they're saying that our concerns that we're dealing with that are heartfelt, not head felt, are being acknowledged um, and taken care of. So each time we step into that place where we can step back from a reaction and view it from a heart space, that's what they're referring to, I believe. Um, they see the whole big picture of how we react and how we think about it afterwards and uh, contemplate what went down, right? Um, but they're acknowledging that they're they're with us is what they're saying and trust in our personal mission. And, you know, I don't really think any of us are really going to know what that is until we cross over to the other side and they go, yeah, you made it, <laughs> you made it. And now you're back. Right. I think that's, um, that's what we have to do. We just have to trust we're here for a reason. And if we're always following our heart, if we're always listening to our inner compass, then it's going to guide us in the right direction. You know, when you have, when you're doing something that makes you feel really good, um, when you're excited and you're looking forward to things, um, that's a good indication of you're, you're on this, the path you're in centered. Like I said, yesterday, you're focused, you're on, on your mission, you're going forward. Right. And if you feel good about it, then, you know, you're in alignment with your team. Right. 
and with your higher self and God and your mission that you're here to do. So, you know, we don't always have um, a real complicated uh, mission that we're on here. Some of us are just here to shine the light. Some of us are just here to be kind to people. Some of us are here to be that reflection of the darker side of who humanity is and to show us contrast. Everybody has a part as much as we don't like, Oh geez, I'm seeing my hair. What a disaster. Um, even if we don't like um, what we're witnessing, if it's on a lower vibration or in a lower energy or it looks dark or we see anger or we see uh, manipulation or injustice, things like that. Even if we don't agree with it, it shows us that contrast. It's like stepping back from your initial reaction from your head and looking at it again. So when you see the lower frequencies in your reality, it's a good opportunity for you to, um, okay, they're saying to judge, but we're not supposed to judge. But he's reminding me, Jesus is reminding me that judgment is not a bad thing if you're using it as a comparison. It's not, um, it's not um, that you are being uh, egotistical or feeling you're higher than anybody else if, you, if you're judging a situation. That is the good part of our ego where we can look at a situation and see and judge it. Okay, look at it and go, you know what? I don't like that. So I'm not going to be like that. That's a good way to use judgment, right? Or I don't like that, but I'm going to have to deal with it anyway, or whatever, you know, um, it gives you a contrast. And that is the, a good part of the ego, like I said, that we can utilize and we can use it for our advantage and our benefit for growth. So um, he is reminding us and he's, he's reminding me there's a card in this deck. It's one of Jesus's cards, actually, and I'll never find it in here if I look, but um, where he says, look at another person's situation and um, grow from that experience. I can't remember exactly what the message was. I'll have to look for it again. But that's basically what he's saying. It's not bad to judge another situation and be, put yourself in comparison to see where you are on your spiritual journey um, in comparison to that situation or that person or that energy or that emotion or whatever, we need something for contrast, we need something to compare our growth with. And that is why we have these other scenarios take place in our life, why we meet other people, why we go through situations, why we break up in relationships, why we lose jobs, start jobs, meet people, lose people, buy homes, lose homes, you know, um, and have things that make us happy and then lose those things and then have things that don't make us happy. It's all to show us contrast. And if you line yourself up with those things that make you feel good, you're always going to be on the right path. And you're always going to be in a place that keeps you in a higher vibration and a higher, your spirit soaring. Okay. So that is the message for today from my council of nine trust in your mission and everything that goes along with it. Okay, and uh, just enjoy your life. Try not to get pulled into the drama like I was saying yesterday. Try to step back from it. Take things one step at a time. If things change in your life, it's not imperative that everything is perfect right off the bat. You know, it takes time to shift. Okay, it takes time to grow. Look at from a baby to like 60 years old. It takes 60 years to grow in that time frame, you know. It's when the opportunities are presented to you for spiritual growth, along with your human growth, which is ongoing. Okay, but spiritual growth, you can sit and go, I'm just not interested, and you're not going to grow. But when you get that little tidbit that says, hey, there's something more to me than just this person, this body, that's when you can start your journey. Okay, anyway, that's it for today. This was a quick read, and I hope you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.